What can be the problem, guys? Today we should have running water and this is our well pump. We're going to dig down right here so that we can install the pitless adapter about four feet down below grade. Let's give it a try. That looks like a piece of like granite, but it's actually wet frozen sand. So I don't know, man. We'll give it a couple more swings here. Definitely ought to be wearing some safety glasses when we're doing this, but it's gonna take forever to get through. So what I think we're gonna do is build a fire here first, go in and assemble the pump and all of that inside while the fire melts this area. Ooh. Hello? Do you hear that echo? Hello? Wow. That's cool. We're gonna let this burn while we go inside and get the pump ready for install. So the first thing we're gonna do is add this pipe dope here. What a weird word. This is a half horsepower pump, two wire, 115 volts. And we got this size because our well produces 10 gallons a minute. This will produce 10 gallons a minute max, so it matches our well. And I think we'll be able to run it off of our off-grid solar system. We'll start off with the generator, but eventually, hopefully, we can hook it up to our solar panels, to our inverter, and uh, hopefully it'll be good. We are building an off-grid homestead from scratch here in North Idaho. So we make videos every week. If you're new here, consider subscribing. This right here is our check valve, which will go in the riser pipe, about 100 feet up from the pump. It's a spring-loaded check valve. Make sure you put it in the right direction. There's an arrow that shows the flow of the water. It is thawing at some. I mean, look at that, that's pretty good. <laughs> Although it is frozen down in there. This is called a pitless adapter and it is what actually goes through the well casing. So this slides off like that. And this part goes through the well casing right here. And then the pipe from the pump screws into here and the water's gonna come out here and go into there. Slide it down into there, and then this will hold the pump up. Slide the hose clamps on, and then we'll try to fit this guy in here. Although it may take, it may take two, it's gonna take two people. All right, well that didn't go so good. So we're gonna heat it up a little bit. Whew. Here we go. We're gonna be using this high strength industrial tape, specially designed and bought from the pump store for doing your well pump stuff. So kind of the idea right here is just making sure that any torque in the pump when it starts won't uh, be able to unscrew anything or spin on this compression fitting. Plus the tape is going to protect the cables from sharp edges on these, um, on these guys here. Then we're gonna pull the wires up here and we're gonna actually tape them to the pipe and to the pump. That way, if the wires are to get pulled at some point, they won't get pulled from the pump. They'll get pulled from here where they're taped. Torque arrester expandable torque arrester. But this is gonna go on here like this. So we can go ahead and tighten up the bottom one all the way. Yeah. The top one 
will snug up just a little bit, but we'll have to adjust it once the pump is ready to go down into the well. Probably unnecessary, but makes me feel a little bit safer. This is the motor down here. This is the pump up here. This is a coupling in between. The water gets sucked in right here and comes out the top here. So we're just keeping it clean, that's all. We broke the fire up into three smaller fires to kind of spread it out. It's all thawed right in the middle where the main fire was. So hopefully here within, oh, 15 to 20 minutes, we'll go ahead and start digging. So this is 10-3 wire. It's overkill for our pump. We really only need a 12-2 wire, but we got this one because later on, if we want to install a larger pump and a three wire pump, the wire is already going to be all the way down into the well to the pump. So this is basically future proofing our well. We're going to put a plug on the end of this wire and temporarily just run it off of a generator right out there by the well. And then later in the spring or summer after the ground thaws and we can trench it, then we'll trench in the power and the, uh, looks like that right there anyway power and the other stuff the, the, for the pipes. Blacks go into gold, reds go into silver, and greens go into ground. Now we're gonna go ahead and hook our wires up to the pump wires. Apparently it doesn't matter which one goes to neutral and which one goes to positive because both of these wires are exactly the same. I was kind of wondering about how you're gonna do a splice connection that's gonna actually be underwater. Well, you use these right here. These came with the pump but you can buy them separately as well. But these are gonna be waterproof. We'll go ahead and put all three of them on so we don't forget. Crimp these guys on here, nice and tight. Just like that, yep, right about there. Go ahead and crimp this guy on there. All right, and that is on there. Then you take this guy and you torch. Heat it up from the middle out. And then you just do the same thing to all three of them. So for the yellow one that we're not actually using, we went ahead, we just put the crimper on it here just because we had it. And we're gonna put the uh, shrink tube on it and then we'll just seal the end. That way that wire stays dry and clean see that glue that came out of there this white glue that came out that's what actually seals it around the wire so that it's waterproof this is like a special shrink tube for underwater applications jules measured out 100 feet and so we're gonna cut our pipe right here oh maybe maybe we're gonna cut our pipe right here there we go Ooh. it's like a spring check valve the water is going to go from the pump going this way. So, see our arrow? It's right there by the one and a quarter. Yep. Ooh. Okay, so the arrow means it goes this way. All right, arrow's going the right way. Come on, buddy. Oh, man. That's one tight. Tight. It's tight. All right, beautiful. One, <laughs> almost, almost forgot the hose clamps. <laughs> That'd have been lame. Get the snow After falling. After I just reminded all of us not to forget the hose clamps. <laughs> all right. Look at the snow, babe. Beautiful, huh? <laughs> All right, Jonas, these have to go together now. I need you to pull, pull this one, push this one. 
Check valve is in, going the right direction. That was difficult. That was difficult to do. All right, guys, it's time to start digging this hole. Hopefully the ground will be thawed enough. How's it going, Seth? Good. Thanks. It's really good for me. <laughs> yeah. You're probably getting cold. I'm starting to get cold, yeah. <laughs> What you doing there, Jules? <laughs> Your men are breathing hard. I know, and I am by this beautiful warm fire. <laughs> Might be five foot. We're drilling a well right next to our well. <laughs> Four feet's a long ways down there when you have to dig it by hand. Come measure this. Yeah. Five more inches, maybe. Get your stick. We finally got down four feet. It's a narrow hole, like kind of like a trench. So hopefully I can fit down in there with the drill and have enough force to actually drill into the well casing. We're gonna use this hole saw, lube it with some WD-40 as we're drilling. And hopefully, hopefully we'll get through it here in just a second or 10 minutes or something. Center punch, hammer, man in the hole. <laughs> Yeah, see what I mean by it's it's pretty narrow. Uh oh, I don't know if it's gonna work. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to get my shoulders down there. Let's see. Oh. Nope, I can't reach. Oh. Man, Seth's watching through the pipe, through the casing. <laughs> Do you see the bit, Seth? Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Got a hole. You can drill through your drill casing with one of these guys here with a bi-metal hole saw. This is a Milwaukee one. <sighs> Let me show you what we got going on down here. Where is it? There it is, right there. There's our hole. Beautiful, huh? <laughs> oh man. That was a hard job for sure. Which you harder, <sighs> digging the hole or drilling oh, through that? I mean, digging definitely took longer, but drilling it was hard because the hole was so small, trying to fit down in there and <laughs> force it. Seth's got a hard job over there too, trying to get that that auger head off. What about me? Do I have a hard job? Do You got a hard job looking cute. <laughs> no, it's so easy for you. <laughs> oh, I do so much. All right, lowering her down. Definitely don't want to drop it. Oh, pass it. Down a little bit. Perfect. So the rubber okay. goes on first, mm -hmm. the fat side against the pipe. This goes on with the curve of it, yeah. so it curves with the pipe. Then you screw the nut on this way. This is called a frost-free hydrant. You turn it on by lifting this handle like that, water will come out. And notice right here, this rod, when you close it, it goes down. When you open it, it comes up. Well, that rod goes all the way down to here so the valve is actually down here and when you open it it opens the valve here and water can come up this pipe and so when you close it though you see that this hole right here when you close it all the water that is in this pipe will then run out this little hole and go into the ground so you need to put gravel or sand or something down there so the water has a place to go but that way the valve is actually four feet underground and it can't freeze. We're just gonna thread this guy on here. This is just temporary for the winter. Come spring or summer, we'll get a trencher and we'll trench this guy all the way over to the house. We're just putting some tape on here to protect the cables and stuff as we lower them down in there. Our weight, our tape, uh, it's a hundred foot tape. All right, you guys gotta listen. That's it right there. Yeah. Bam. So we're at about the dirt level, about 94 feet. 
time to put the rope on. Yeah. There we go. All right. Tying the safety rope off here to the tractor. If the well pump is gonna fall down the well, it's gonna have to take the tractor with it. <sighs> All right, I'm gonna need help. Yeah. Cutting the plastic bag off. So that's gonna keep the well, keep the pump right in the center of the well. And also, maybe it'll help with torque. Okay, um, let's start feeding her down, I guess, Jules. Oh, I hope we don't have to take that thing out. You think you need to? Oh, that's gonna be lame. If it won't fit past the pitless adapter, huh? I think it will. It's just bent. Bend it. All right, you guys tell me, should the pump fit past the pitless adapter? Dude, if it doesn't, that stinks. If it doesn't, we won't finish it today. Pull it back out. Now we're going to install the pitless adapter part. All the weight's gonna be on this fitting right here. It's a little scary. Yeah. <laughs> we're just putting some of the uh, green tape on here to just to protect the wires in case they rub up against it here. All right, Seth, let's, uh, and Jules, yeah. help them feed this in the last part in there. Okay. Oh. Oh, look at that. Let's see if I'm going to go the right direction. Can you get the light? Here we go. Come on, baby. Working. 36 amps is drawn right now. Overload. Uh, Why? Why uh, would it overload? The only thing I could think of is if we put the check valve in backwards. So last night we had a little bit of a disappointment. You saw that we got no water after we got our pump turned on. We just stopped recording because we were cold and tired and it was really dark outside. We took everything out last night. We took the pump off because oh, we didn't, it didn't work. And so we, um, wow, you guys are so distracting. Sorry. <laughs> But we didn't want any water that was in the pipe to freeze, so we put the pipe back into the well. We got it out. It wasn't nearly as bad as it was with the pump on it, but it was still bad. You definitely don't want to have to pull a pump. I didn't tell him what was wrong with the pump. Oh, well, it was drawing 35 amps and then either overloading the generator or shutting down itself probably it's thermal protection i would guess we took it out and we plugged it in and tested it with no load at all on it and only a two foot wire and it's still uh, 35 amps and then it was shut off we took it back got a new one toss that guy on here lower it back down there pray that it works because we don't want to pull this thing back up again 
We've got the pump all wired up, taped up, ready to go back down into the well. This here's the check valve and and there's the arrow right there showing that the flow of the water is going that way. So the check valve's in the right direction. All right, now. we've done everything the way we're supposed to check valves in the right way we got the wires wired up properly that the wiring is sized for the length of wire it is I don't know why it wouldn't work but if you want to go ahead and click pause write down in the comments below whether or not you think it's going to work all right all right that's our amp meter right there hooked up here we go ready Same thing, 32 amps. 32, 33 amps and it shut off again. What could be the problem? What can be the problem, guys? Let me know down in the comments below. I don't know. Did a little bit more research and from a calculator that I found online about lock rotor amps, it seems like it should not be drying 35 amps but on some forums they were talking about that's possible what we're going to do is plug it into the 30 amp outlet on here see if it'll start same not starting Same, 35 amps and will not start. Back to the drawing board. I try to come up with some new ideas. Put your ideas down in the comments below. Wait, tripod. Day three on the pump. And I wanna know which one of you guys said the generator is not big enough. Put a hands up emoji down in the comments if you were thinking the generator is not big enough because you'd be thinking just like the professionals at Panhandle Pump. They said you need a 5,000 watt generator to start this pump. So that's what we've got today. Seth is so confident that it's gonna work that he has a cup. I hope it's gonna work. <laughs> Ready? Ready? Ready. Oh no. It's not on, babe. Oh yeah, forgot. Turn it on first. <laughs> So far we pumped about 480 gallons out of the well. Oh boy, that's pretty brown, man. This is our well water. Looks really refreshing, right? Who wants to drink that water? Yikes. Not me. <laughs> the next thing we're gonna have to work on our well here, guys, is actually getting this water or the water that's actually down in the well drinkable if you'd like to see what else is going on here on our homestead there is a video right over there you can go ahead and check out otherwise we hope you guys have a really great day keep smiling and we will see you over in that video in just a second <laughs> 